There's a famous meatloaf song called I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. But what does this particular song have to do with the former royal Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. I don't know why I always get the giggles when I start filming. Perhaps it's because I know what's coming story-wise for you. And again, sometimes these particular stories are, well, shall we say, beyond belief. But in this particular instance, as ever, it's our two ex-royals that are making some of the headlines over here. But why should we be worried? Prince Harry, you know, hasn't always been happy within his own skin. We know that through the numerous interviews that he's done and of course even sit down interviews with authors but what's interesting to note i always felt was that he liked certain privileges of being part of the british monarchy a monarchy that he was born into and rightfully so but what's interesting i find with prince harry is that he seems to have done a complete about u-turn not just about his life in general but in his life full stop now, is this all down to Miss Meghan Markle? Now, what's interesting for Meghan's side of the story is this. She too had endured sort of a, a microscopic moment of fame, but obviously liked the spotlight. The combination together proved, of course, very fateful for a lot of people because it changed the way the monarchy was looked at worldwide. In fact, it has to be said that interview with Oprah Winfrey has been the most damaging to the British monarchy in over 25 years. We all know about the first interview, don't we? With the late Princess Diana. But moving forward with the story, a very close source tells me this. Prince Harry himself has got a new lease of life out in California, and he doesn't actually, allegedly, crave the spotlight anymore. And by crave the spotlight anymore, what I mean is, he's quite happy to hand over all of that to his wife. But here's where the bigger problem lies. As his PR teams and advisors and all the people that he pays millions and thousands of pounds to every year know, without Prince Harry, doors do not open. And more importantly, without the reconnection to the British royal family, doors will certainly remain closed. But Prince Harry has basically said, and we have to say as ever, allegedly, that he's more than happy to be a stay-at-home father and support his wife, Meghan Markle, in her adventures, her life adventures moving forward. We saw that particular quote, if you remember, when the couple were interviewed out in Africa, where she basically said it's not just enough to live, you have to thrive, right? Well, Prince Harry has taken that at her literal word. He, according to a very good source, is more than happy, as I say, to step back and let her take the spotlight. But the people around Prince Harry and Meghan Markle know that the bigger problem moving forward is they need that royal shine. And there is no way that Prince Harry can remove himself from that royal spotlight or else the whole cascade of cards comes crashing down. As we also know, whatever people are saying out in California, Ms. Markle does have secret ambitions to move into the world of politics and she's testing the water as we saw recently with a letter to Congress to see how that appears and whether that connects with similar age people to herself who are young mums with families. Now for Meghan, she's a highly ambitious lady and I'm not knocking that at all. I think that's a very good quality. Now the bigger problem with this duo is this. If of course one side of the duo doesn't want to remain in the spotlight, but the other does, that will create problems further along. But the bigger problem is not that just one person doesn't want to be in the spotlight, but, of course, it becomes even more problematic if the person that doesn't want to be in the spotlight is the one that's needed, more so required, to make sure certain doors open for the one that does want to remain in the spotlight. Are you with me? And so for now, of course, Prince Harry's dreams of having a quiet life, riding his bicycle all around California, and basically switching out from the world that he's known will be a very far off dream that is of course until his wife has achieved hers. Neil Sean in the heart of London.